All right, here we're back. Good. Now we can proceed with our plan for revenge against the Nikon. From our analysis of the deep child fragments you showed to us, and a review of the recorded Micon transmissions from the war, we've established the kind of world the Micons desire for their hideous deep children. They need a planet like your Earth, or our Syrah, one rich in water and oxygen, and possessing a molten active mantle. Our plan is to lure the Micons to such a planet, and then attack them when they least expect it. We know of just such a world. When the Urquan were analyzing their massive planetary data to find a new home for my people, one of the close candidates, ranked just below Gaia, was a blue world orbiting close to the star Organon. Captain, we need your services again. Here's what you must do. You must go to the Micon and tell them of this world. They will find that the world is suitable. And when they go to Organon, we shall be there, waiting for them. Then, we shall destroy them. Cool. <laughs> I'm afraid both our duties will be dangerous, Captain. We may never see each other again. <laughs> for now, at least, there's this. That's more like it. Now, <laughs> let me help you off with this. Yes, now aren't you a lot more comfortable? <laughs> because, my darling, if the light was on, I couldn't do this. Or this. <laughs> or this. Because the FCC would ban or, it. This. <laughs> <laughs> An alien monster? Me? Me? Why, Captain? Why ever do you say that? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Oops, that wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> Species isn't new enough. And then I thought we could move on to something a bit more like hmm, this. And after you've recovered, I thought this might be fun. And if you're still conscious, I thought we could try this, even though I've never done it before. <laughs> The older, the older games are rather amusing things to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this one. And let me teach you what you need to know. We will begin with the fundamentals of basic Cyrene physiology. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. <laughs> mm. Weird blackouts. Mm. Does that answer your question? Please don't worry, my darling human. We have all the time in the world. Not really. And my door locks securely. Then stop wasting your lips on words, you silly fool, and come here. Several hours later. <laughs> several hours later. Several hours later. <laughs> several hours later. Goodbye, Captain Darling. We each have our jobs to do. Now you must go. But you will remain always in my mind and heart and deep within me. I know that someday, when all this madness has come to an end, we will be together like this again. Yeah. A little weird fan service. Anyway, uh, let's see the old rash shrink some more. They still didn't tell us where the, uh, the Micons are. Um, I would have thought that I would place us place their their home world on our map. So I'm gonna be back after I kind of find that. All right, here we go right here. Um, is there any warp point to there? 
All right, the uh, place we need to go to is at 516-466, which is over here. Yes. So that's it'll put put us near the uh, near the mic on homeworld, at least closer than we already are. Puts us out at about here. So we need to go to Epsilon Scorpii. Which is there we go. Here we have the infamous Micons. So let's talk to them. Actually, I'm gonna save first. I haven't saved in a while. All right. Micons. We are part of Jephelwan. Jephelwan is the hot light in the darkness. All else is unfulfilled void. We are the Mycon. Yay! A single spore lands, finds nourishment in decay, and soon attains maturity. In turn, it exhales a cloud of new life, a thousand spores. Each lands finds nourishment in decay. So progresses Jephelwap. Jephelwap is like their religion. Uh, I don't know. Basically, they talk in references to Jephelwap and stuff like that. They don't really have any kind of uh, interesting discourse. I don't think saying that is a good idea. Jephelwap fills in my fibers. And I grow turgid, violent action ensues. And they attack us when we talk to them, so. Uh, I think the, the Zelnik here can deal with them pretty good. Now what they do is they fire, like, spheres out of their the rear of their ships. And uh, they're quite powerful and dangerous. Um, they're better in the second in the third game. But you can pretty much avoid them, or you can destroy them. So the the balls, I mean. So uh, the their ships are very slow, but as you can see, that they can regenerate their crew using their uh, their battery. So it, it can be rather annoying to try to destroy them. Um, and they're they're well, the ships are actually fast. I, I forgot about that but not fast enough to get away from our ship. So there we go. Um, there are a few ships to deal with this, but I find it easier just to use the upgraded starship. Uh, oh, they got us. So we take a few crew damage from that. Um, yeah. More than enough. <laughs> we get the resource units to do whatever. So... Alright, let's go to their home world. Over here. Uh, can we get past him? I don't want to have to fight him. There we go. And here we go. I want to be able to actually talk to them in more detail, so... Jephelwap is all omni-existent, spreading and changing the non into Jephelwap. You are non, who must become Jephelwap or void. We are the agents of Jephelwap. We are the Mycon. So let's see if we can get any background with them. Our bodies seethe with the passion of our genes. A thousand of your species do not possess the richness. In one of my cells, you impede the flow of Jephelwap through the universe. We will now remove this flaw. We will now aid Jephelwap by eliminating you. I don't think we want to do that, because uh, they have an infinite number of ships, so... Let's just get out of here. Uh, get out before he goes. Oh, it hit me. Okay. Let's 
so. Let's talk to them again. We are the Mycons. Pretty much after everything they tell they tell us, I think they they try to attack us. Uh, let's try to. I feel my parents, 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 parents. I am they, and they are us. Then and now. They kind of randomly attack us uh, if we. Um, after a certain thing, so. The deep children are a part of Chapel One. Home builders, the dwellers in the Mohorovicic. The Mohorovicic is the layer of the crust, I believe. Or, or the mantle or something. So, or the boundary between them, I, I'm not, I don't remember. I am duty. I am the purity monitor. I choose what buds are permitted to mature and which must be eradicated. I die of general misfunction. 57,283 years ago. You impede the flow of Jeffo Walk. Yep, they're gonna attack us now. We will now remove. It's the same thing they say before. Okay. Uh. So let's. Oops. Gonna. Whoa! Oh, that was. That was unfortunate. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go! Fuck, okay. Um. Now let's tell them about the other thing. We are the Mycon. A cold rock spinning silently in the void. A wound. For the children, you impede the crap. Uh, you can basically get clues about what we're supposed to do. I'm gonna use. Uh, it doesn't matter unless I use the the flagship to do it. Yeah. Let's just move it a good clip away. This, this ought to be far enough. Oh, it's gonna hit me. Oh, it got away. Cool. Okay. Now we need to get rid of these guys before we can talk more. Hopefully none of the... Ah, crap. We are the Mycon. Uh... Pulsing hot liquid flows through my outstretched tendrils, sending thrills into my interior. The moment has come. I swell Burst Gross. above me, a cloud of whispering life whirls through the air. I am content. The Jekyll one is strong in this place. Okay. Jekyll one filled. Yeah, he's attacking us. I'm just gonna kill these ones. there. Attacks. It's not gonna help, buddy. I'm just fighting them because these are probably... No, these are pretty dangerous. I'm losing a lot of crew to them. No. Oops. Oh, they're actually hitting me.
we basically want the rest of them to come out from the planet so we can uh, go back in. Go way out here to my con Pluto. Come on, guys. Alright, now I can rush in. And there we go. Stupid Mycons. We are the Mycons. Yeah, I know. Um Your simple sexual process produces random mosaics of genetic instructions. Yet with the simplicity of breath, I modify my own patterns. You humans improve a tool and double your capabilities. We might not improve ourselves and increase a thousandfold. You impede. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impede the Jeffo up. Uh, running out of fuel here. I got away. Cool. All right, I'm running out of fuel here, but it's gonna be. It'll be all right. There's a lot of stuff we can get to it, and it's random whether whether or not we can actually get. Talking to him. We are the mic. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, I don't remember if I still said this stuff. The deep children, spears of light in the darkness. Their discarded husks speak of joy to come. Okay. I have chosen my offspring's memories carefully from my set of remembrances. The sweet and warm times of my existence, and those of my parents, parents, the bits of a million lifetimes coalesced into a birth gift, a complete awareness. That's pretty cool, I guess. Your suggestion is appropriate. Acceptable new worlds are a priority for the rapid and complete spread of Jeffo Luck. We wish you to know more for our suitability assessment. Tell us of this world. Uh. This is good. This is good. This is good. If your words are true, we will gladly spread the Jeffo Luck to a new world. We will assemble the burning fleet and send them to this planet. We will send many ships to protect the children as they grow. You have been of service to us. Your insight into the ineffable Jafawak is encouraging. Perhaps, if we were to plant spore sacs in your brain orbit and let its tendrils spread through your flesh, then you would truly understand Jafawak. Become part of Jeffo Wub. You would be happier and more fulfilled. Consider our offer. Hmm. How about nose? Alright, now they just let us go, but we have to avoid their ships. Um, we'll learn more about Jeffo Weapons stuff in uh, Deep Children and all that in the third game. Um, are you coming to get me, guys? All right. Well, there's really nothing I, I nothing else I need to do here. So let's return to the siren. Oh, they're not attacking me. They're just wandering around now. And the mic on space is now on the map. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's moving. So uh, moving down towards that planet they told us to do. So we're gonna go back to the siren, and then uh, I should get some fuel first. But we're gonna head down to the siren and. See if we can make talk to them. All right, I was a bit mixed up. We we actually need to go here, um, because they told us where to go. Oops, actually we need to wait outside in hyperspace. Um. 
Um, off screen okay I'm actually going back to earth because I need more crew but uh while we wait for the micon to do their thing um, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back Let's see if commander Hayes has anything new to say to us greetings captain I'm ready to assist you nothing the analysis reads as follows subject micon egg case data we really didn't know Micon came from eggs, but our analysis of this sheet shows that it's been subjected to phenomenal temperatures and pressures. The most unusual aspect of the egg case is its size. We know Micon's range in height from 0.5 to 3.5 meters, but our reconstruction of the whole egg case shows it to be over 25 meters high. Summary, if a Micon came out of this, he's got to be really big. That's the end of our scientist's report. Well, that's useful. Try to... I'm gonna buy some crew and some fuel. I'll be back. Uh, okay. So, we, we are in hyperspace heading toward back to Beha, Beta Brahe. Um, but we're waiting for the Micon to get down to Organon. Or Gag... Right here. Or Ganon. Uh, because that's where they're laying their ambush for them. And we basically have to wait until the Micon are basically nearly destroyed. And as you can see, their, their uh, sphere of influence is shrinking. See? So we want to get close to it. We don't want to actually go there yet. Let's stop here. Wait a little while. So as you can see, it's shrinking. So I'm going to off-screen until it's shrinking until... I don't know. Alright, they're starting to head back now, as you can see. Um, and their fleet is mostly destroyed, so we, need want, we want to actually go to Beta Brahe. And I believe it's this one, or yeah. Oops, missed it. And there's something here we need. You are an obstruction to Jeffo Rumble. You must be removed. Okay, and they just attack us. Because they're guarding the thing. Alright. I'm going to be more careful about this one. Oops. They can't hit you if you're behind them, so... And they can actually hit themselves. So, what you want to do, and not be real derpy like I was last time, is maneuver yourself behind them. Um, and shoot at them. Because they can only shoot their main weapon from the front. And their secondary weapon isn't a weapon at all. It's a it's their regenerative ability. And if you move at full speed, they, they those weapons can't hit you. Uh, with this ship, anyway. So. Okay. Got him. And that's how you can do it relatively unscathed. get into a position of chasing them before oops and don't crash into the planet that's not a good idea all right just to show that I'm not completely inept at this game whoa oh that was bad 
Okay, maybe I am completely inept at this game. Yeah. There are better ships for fighting this, but I like using this one. Um, the Arlu ships are pretty good. Oh, I got you now. Alright. So basically, I want to scan it up. I want to look for a energy signal. There we go. Down there. So I'm going to go over here. Obviously resources are useless to us. I'm going to get this spiky thing. So sir, we are experiencing major tectonic shocks here on the surface. Wait a moment, they seem to have passed. Woo, that was awful. Captain, we weren't bouncing off the ceiling or being bashed against the lander walls. We were looking for whatever it was that the Micon were hiding down here. I think we found it. I don't know what to call it, but it kind of looks like a cross between a spider and an antenna. But Jeeva, the engineer we brought along, says the device has the capacity to radiate incredible amounts of energy in the form of visible light. We have decided not to experiment with the artifact, and we'll bring it aboard right after we explore the immediate vicinity. Oh no, Captain, looks like the sho Earth shock uh, the shocks are starting up again. We can't take much more of this. Returning to the ship. Very tectonic. Okay. So, now what we need to do is we need to go back to the siren. Beetlejuice. And I'm just gonna go manually, it's not gonna matter. And I'll be back. Alright, we're back. And we're gonna go straight to the planet. Now, I think I mentioned this before, but this depiction of Beetlejuice is completely inaccurate. Beetlejuice is one of the largest stars we know about, and it's red. God damn it. Stop missing the planet. Stupid lander guy. Or got it. Okay. So now they'll ally with us. Success, Captain. The Micon's fleet is in shambles. Justice is ours. We have revenged ourselves against the heinous Micons. They fell for our trap so completely. When they approached Organon 1, we were hiding behind its moon. As they approached, their ships broke combat formation in preparation for their hideous implanting ceremony. We waited until they were fully dispersed around the planet. Then we attacked. The standard Micon tactic would have been to speed out of orbit using a gravity whip maneuver. But the pod ships refused to abandon their slow-moving, deep children spore bodies. They remained in the gravity well. And we sliced them to ribbons. They must have lost a dozen ships to their own stupidity, running into their own plasmoids. The rest? Well, we took care of most of it in our own special way. And Captain, now that we have taken our revenge on the Micon, we give you our starship officers and penetrator designs so that you can add our ships to your fleet. We won't be doing that because, uh, they suck. I expect I'm going to be pretty busy for the next few months, overseeing repairs to our fleet of penetrator starships and preparing some kind of defensive system for this starbase. If and when the Earthcon return here, you must have a little surprise ready for them. Not a great deal, Captain. You seem to be the biggest source of excitement around here. I've had requests from just about every officer under my command to be transferred to your Earth Starbase to serve under you. If I wasn't running the Starbase, I'd be first in line. I don't remember what this does. Captain, the next step is to pull down the oh, right. shield from our planet. In my opinion, the only people who could do that are the Chenjesi. As far as I know, they are under a shield of their own. Actually, I'm just dodging the real issue, Captain. Your agenda really has only one item. Destroy the Urquan hierarchy. How to do that? I'm not sure. 
But I know you can't take them head on, even with that amazing ship of yours. You will have to find their weak spot and then strike it with everything you've got. We don't fight the Archon with this ship, we fight it with Fwiffo. Goodbye, my human. I'm her human now, apparently. She owns me. Okay, um... I'm gonna end this session here, because this is a good place to end. And look at the Illrath and the Thridash. They're almost dead. Awesome. Um... So basically we've taken out three of the Urquan Battle Thralls and caused one of them to be in a massive civil war. The Umgar are the only ones who are still relatively intact. Uh, on the other side of that, we've lost the the, uh, the Spathy, but we've got Captain Fwiffo, who is the only one I really care about. Uh, the Vux, we haven't really done anything to, I don't think, no. And the Supox and the Utwigger are fighting the Kora. So, uh, yeah, um, next session we're going to be dealing with, well, what they, what they were talking about with the... Uh, the Chinjesu. Or, uh, actually, we might do the, uh, the other thing we have to do, uh, which was mentioned by the Arilu, relating to the Umga. So, I will see you next time on Let's Play Star Control 2.